Candygram. Welcome back, everyone. Toysh is here, and I am back yet again to give you guys another fresh look, courtesy of my friends over at Mattel. And today, we're totally checking out their brand new Masters of the Universe, He-Man Origins, Land Shark, Evil Monster Vehicle thing <laughs> from the past, right? They did this back in the old, old days of Masters of the Universe, and now they've brought it back for He-Man Origins. And this is, again, it's a shark car. <laughs> That is wild. Push down, roll forward, jaws open, snap shut. What more could you possibly want? That's amazing. <laughs> the face, the colors, the box art is fantastic. Hey, Mattel, I would love like a multi-pack of these little weird demon things, right? That would be cool to have coming up out of the ground by Castle Grayskull. The back of the box, the artwork on this. It's a huge vehicle for your characters. That's freaking awesome. And you get all the different cross cells, all the different characters and figures coming out and that are, are out. And then you have the amazing Castle Grayskull, which we will be taking a look at as well. You do have to do a one-time assembly on this thing. It's really easy. And here's the barcode. So we're going to have some fun today. Sit back, relax, grab yourself a nice hot cup of coffee. This is a look at the brand new Masters of the Universe He-Man Origins Land Shark Vehicle by Mattel. And of course, bingo bango, just snap on the pieces and you got yourself one cool looking land shark. Hey, here's a question for you. Is land shark an organic thing with like machine parts or is it just a robot? If you know, let me know. <laughs> this thing is Awesome, I love the jaws on this guy, the eyes, the eyes are stickers, so that's cool. And they, they put all the stickers on, which I'll show you in just a second. But the sculpted details on this is fantastic. It's got all the little robot rivets and everything else inside the mouth is very cool. That's why I think this thing is like, well, it was at one point organic, because just based on what you see, yeah, it's got a big working gear lever. The teeth are very rubbery, so kids can't gnaw their hand off if they're playing with this. You see all the different tank elements of it. These don't move, nothing moves. On the bottom is a couple wheels and such. This will activate the mouth and this will roll you around. It's great, I love it. Got little gun shark mouths thing on this thing and it'll go up and down. It doesn't really do much except for pivots up and down. So yeah, but it's, hey, it's sculpted nice and they're very easy to remove and the characters can hold these as guns. The only thing is that it's kind of cheapy. It's very light at the same time. It's not really like too out of control with that. I love the placement of the stickers. Very old school, very 80s looking stickers. I feel like Kenner made this whole heck of a lot of nostalgia there and they're all applied nicely. Nice textures all over this thing too. Everything is sculpted. Everything is very detailed. It's just a very bat poop crazy vehicle, but it's a, it's a shark monster thing. And it scales well with the other He-Man Origins figures like Skeletor, which going off the artwork, yeah, I'm gonna assume this is his vehicle. So you get yourself a Skeletor figure. And trust me, they're not too hard to find on the shelves. <laughs> And also be careful, you know, when you're moving the legs, he'll pop off. One thing that I noticed about this, right? You kind of have to fidget with it. You can get him sitting down in there, but for the way the figures move, it, they're very limited when you try to sit them. You know what I mean? Not just because of other pieces like his little loincloth or anything else. It's really the movement of the legs to which you can't really get in a very organic sitting position, which is a bummer. So you would need, think of uh, like old Ghost Rider Toy Biz figures, how they kind of molded them to the legs all fit the bikes and everything else. You would need like a Skeletor, I would think, to specifically fit into sitting position. So you can get him in there, yeah, and it looks fine for what it is. But for those that are really for that naturalistic, like, and especially holding on to like the handlebars, no, you, you really can't. You could pop him off at the waist. <laughs> And do it that way, right? That'll work. You know, nobody's got to know. You just see it from the bottom up. Who cares? You know what I mean? But yeah, that's the way you kind of have to do it. But hey, you know what? He fits. Yeah, it's kind of a bummer. Kind of. It's really not that big a deal, you know. But when you match it up with the other He-Man Origins vehicles, I'm counting Panthor as, as a vehicle, right? It looks great. And I love seeing... One, my shelves don't love seeing it because it's a huge, huge vehicle, but at the same time, that's really cool that they're doing it. And heck, I even have the old Dragon Walker, the original one, 
And that's cool. So you can have, you know, the He-Man Origins on that if you really want to go that route. It poses nicely. Skeletor fits in there nicely. He's not going to hold the handlebars. He's not going to fit in there like absolutely perfectly. But it's still a dang cool vehicle. And, you know, for the most part, even the old original set will fit in there. You know what I mean? So that'll look good. If you have the Super Impulse World Smallest Action Figures Skeletor and then you have the Mattel Hot Wheels Landshark, you can do a bit of a Landshark Inception. Bwah. But what you're all really here to see, once you get all your figures, you just roll them across and you can just have a He-Man buffet, right? All his friends just chomp down. It's like Jaws 8, Attack of the Landshark. <laughs> and that's the coolest feature about that. You know what I mean? Just have it rolling back and forth. The Jaws go up and down. And it's snack time, baby. So this is a win-win all around. This is fun. Especially just the color. That's what I love about the He-Man stuff. Never collected it. So if you're new and, you know, you hear me talk about He-Man stuff. No, I don't know a lot about He-Man. But I know some fun figures. And these are definitely fun. So I definitely recommend it when you find it. Pick it up. Especially if you've been getting the other He-Man figures. It's just too cool. Right? He-Man, Eternia, and... <laughs> anything goes it's fun to see these are old-fashioned fun bat poop crazy toys so i'm curious to know what you guys think about the land shark do you have it do you need to get it comment below let me know let's talk everything he-man origins and thank you again to mattel for sending this over to give you guys this fresh look and i'm gonna leave you guys with that as always drink some great coffee eat some great food but most importantly remember we need a chevy chase figured out we need, we need a he-man chevy chase put it in the land shark <laughs> Just dated myself. And when we do, let me know what you found. I'll talk to you guys soon. Adios. Mm -hmm.